Um, so my background is in uh, definitely in cybersecurity. Um, I've been in that field for 20 years now. Um, I started working in, uh, in SOC uh, when SOC was very uh, basic back in, uh, back in the days. Um, I did a lot of consulting. I moved from different jobs, like more technical or more like uh, uh, management related um, in different industries, a lot in uh, financial, uh, financial services and banking. And um, over the past couple of years, uh, let's say four to five years, I've been really focusing on AWS cloud. So uh, nowadays I work mostly on AWS security, but I also do stuff related to AWS in general. So not specifically about security. And I still have some piece of work related to um, cybersecurity in general. So I'm really in those two uh, domains. Um, and I really enjoy doing that. Uh, it's more about um, what I like in the AWS cloud is that I feel like I can uh, like build stuff. Um, it's like a great uh, you know toolbox that you can use to to um, easily build uh, solutions without all the heavy lifting that we we had in the past. Uh, I just passed my six AWS certification last week, uh, the DevOps professional which was quite challenging for me. Uh, but yeah, it's the last one of the series because now I need to maintain all these certifications. So I will also uh, share some insight about certification at the end. Um, I do a lot of freelancing work, uh, mostly on AWS. There is a platform named AWS IQ um, that allows to connect AWS um, users, in particular SMEs with uh, freelancers uh, like uh, like myself, um, so it's a it's a marketplace where freelancers can quickly help um, those AWS users with uh, different type of issues. So I'm very active in there, um, and a big part of my job is about like uh, giving lectures and uh, mentoring uh, people who want to, you know. Uh, move to a career in cybersecurity or AWS cloud, for example, we're not necessary from that field. Uh, and I'm instructor on platform like, uh, like Secrecy. Uh, this is my fourth uh, security webinar in this platform. Uh, every time I'm gaining more confidence, I remember the first time I was totally scared. Um, and uh, the first webinar was about uh, building a secure multi-tenant on uh, environment on AWS. So for example, for companies who want to build their SaaS uh, solution on the top of AWS, how do they manage uh, multi-tenancy in that environment? So that was the first one. The second one was about performing a security reviews of AWS environment. Uh, and then I had the third one about uh, using uh, what we call infrastructure as code for automation and for security automation. Um, those topics were more advanced. And today, uh, yeah, we're going back to the basics. Um, yeah, that's uh, quickly uh, about me. So the agenda for today's session. First, we're going to have a quick overview about the, you know, like the current trends in cloud computing, because it's important to understand that before we, um, you know, navigate in our learning path in the cloud. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, just give like simple insights there and try to relate it to my own um, experience. Um, when you move from on-premises to cloud, especially with the modern cloud services, you need to change your paradigm. You need to change the way you do things, the way you look at security. And we're going to talk about that. Um, what are the uh, fundamental essential AWS services that you need to be aware of when you start, because they are like between 200 and 300 services. I stopped counting them and yeah, sometimes we just don't know where to start. And of course we cannot know them all in detail. Um, some security concepts that relate to AWS cloud. Uh, I think this is one of the things you're probably the most interested in. And also very important, uh, some resources uh, that can help you uh, to, you know, kickstart your AWS uh, uh, journey. So that's about it for today. And obviously uh, the idea is to uh, 
leave some room for the Q&A um, because you might have uh, quite some questions after this one. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, get started uh, now with the content. Um, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, briefly, let's talk about the, the trend in cloud computing and how I can relate this uh, in my personal journey. Um, so this slide is uh, my thought about the cloud computing according to security people, how I've observed it over the years and how it relates to my, uh, my own journey, uh, learning about cloud computing and AWS. So before 20, uh, 2010, uh, we barely heard about cloud. I think we started hearing about it in 2010. Uh, and uh, the NIST uh, Institute came up with like some, you know, a lot of like clear definitions about cloud. Uh, what are the different type of services? What are the different type of deployments? Um, there was also uh, stuff like what we used to call like the safe harbor, uh, which was about how to use uh, American cloud platforms. If you are in Europe, considering the you know like the big data privacy concern, um, so it was like a little bit uh, at that time. It was uh, like just we start hearing about it. People were asking questions, and as security professionals, we didn't really yeah know much about it. So yeah, let's wait and see. Um, then over the next four years, um, cloud computing became more um, adopted gradually. And it was mostly about taking your uh, virtual machines and putting them in the in off, off site, right? So uh, we were using like stuff like VMware and other like virtualization platforms, but we had in our own data centers. So customers were starting to take those VMs and just move them as such in some, uh, yeah, um, offload the, the VMs in uh, the virtual machines in. Uh, other uh, uh, t uh, providers. Uh, so it was not as sophisticated as the cloud we have today. It raised a lot of legal uncertainties. Well, how about like, how do you deal with privacy? You, you're losing control of your, you know, uh, compute environments. What does that mean? Um, so there's a lot of, yeah, legal uncertainties, compliance. Uh, security folks at that time, including myself, were like, whoa, this is mad. Like you're losing control on your, um, on your IT environment. This is like, yeah, this is uh, probably not a good idea. So we were like very skeptical at that time as a security community. Um, I was myself like very uh, like, yeah, concerned. Like, what is this new thing? Is it like a, a long-term trend or is it just uh, like a new buzz thing? And yeah, I, I was not sure what to what to think, but the the voice from the security uh, folks was like, "Yeah, this is insane. Uh, there are too many um, concern about uh, you know losing control of your IT." Then well, in the next few years, uh, we see more advanced um, cloud services. We see more uh, software as a service uh, things going on, um, and. We saw like more like multi-tenant. So when you build like software as a service, people use like cloud platform like AWS, for example. So there was some multi-tenancy concern. Uh, we saw like what we call the VPC. So it's like a private network in the cloud just for one user. Um, and um, yeah, for security folks, it was very also, uh, there was a bit of a lack of understanding exactly what we are building in the cloud. So we were, I think, a little bit lagging behind as, as a wall. Um, and uh, yeah, people were still in security communities were still like very concerned about the cloud. And um, about myself, I was, during those years, I was a risk assessor for a, for a big, a larger bank company. And when I started in 2013, all my projects were related to um, on-premises deployment. And over those years, 2015, 2018, uh, more and more uh, projects came up and were uh, projects in the cloud. Uh, and I was raising risk for everything. Are oh, you losing control? Are oh, you uh, have problem with reversibility? Um, how do you uh, go back to your on-premises if it's not working with this provider? How about your contract? So it was like, 
um, I saw like many uh, businesses from that company were subscribing to their own SaaS services, like using their own credit card sometimes. Uh, and as a whole IT of the of the company, it was hard to keep track of everything going on, and it was it was really getting out of hand. Um, we didn't know how to look at it from a security perspective, how to assess the risk, from which angle, etc. So, yeah, overwhelming time, uh, lack of understanding. Um, at, at that time, I didn't really dive yet into like how the cloud computing is structured. I was more looking at it as a, as a world, um, like, okay, you outsource a service to a third party, what are the risks? 